and resorts are already preparing for the upcoming ski season and it's a big deal for Sierra at Tahoe where they're gearing up to open for their first ski season since the Caldor fire. Yeah, so many are excited about this. KCR 3's Lizzie Mitri shows you the work that's already underway and what guests can expect this winter. Ski resorts all have some work to do to get ready for winter, but at Sierra at Tahoe, it's been a massive operation. A lot of activity is going on all across the mountain right now, seven days a week. The ski resort along Highway 50 and Twin Bridges will open for the season for the first time since the Caldor fire swept through from the west last year. I remember us all watching the webcams as the flames came in, and, and that was really hard. The fire charred the magic carpet in the area for beginners and damaged this maintenance shop. It was a true test for us. It was a moment where you know, we could have easily turned away and instead we leaned in with our employees, with our community to say, you know, this isn't the end of Sierra. This is going to be a next chapter in our history. But they returned and began repairs, fixing up chairlifts and taking down trees. Helicopter operations have started and they're really focused on getting the logs that are in hard to access areas down to a staging area. And then from there, either the logs are chipped on site or they're going down to a mill down in Carson. The work started on the west side of the mountain and has now moved to the east side. This is where a lot of the work is focused right now, and each day crews are hauling about 50 truckloads of fire damaged trees off the mountain. Sierra at Tahoe is on track to open all 47 trails this winter, even though things may look a little different on the slopes. This is going to be the largest inbound expansion in Sierra's 75 year history, while the upper east side, including Huckleberry and the back side, didn't see a lot of damage elsewhere on the mountain, guests can expect to see some wider runs and new terrain. I think people are just really excited to get back to their mountain and kind of explore what the new landscape looks like. In Twin Bridges, Lizé Mitri, KCRA 3 News. Sierra Tahoe has not set its opening date yet. It will depend on the weather, but they usually open in the beginning of December.